Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump. Hi, my name is Natasha Tory. I'm a woman of trans experience, a singer, a songwriter, and so much more. But my plight is, are you really trying to end up back here? Because you almost had me. And I was seeing Amber Rose sit out there and support you. No, no shade to Amber Rose. No shade to nobody because, you know, I still support some of your views. However, I do believe that if you're trying to make it back here, don't mess with my rights. Let's start with this. It says here that your campaign website includes formal policy plans, which you call Agenda 47, that includes a pledge titled President Trump's Plan to Protect Children from Left-Wing Gender Insanity. The Law Advocate reports, Hmm, Mr. Trump, how do you explain becoming the United States president spewing such nonsense? It says here that you seriously want to outlaw gender-affirming care for minors at a federal level and cease all programs that promote the concept of sex and gender transition at any age. He also promised to ban transgender athletes from competing on teams that match their gender identities. Excuse me, Mr. Trump. No. It also says here that you announced that if elected for a second term that you would cut federal funding for inclusive schools. On day one, I will sign a new executive order to cut federal funding of any school pushing critical race theory, transgender insanity, and other inappropriate racial, sexual, or political content. Wow. President Trump. Mr. Trump, you're losing me here. This is the part that's really starting to um, really make me a little bit, just a little bit upset. You keep, cons cons you know, talking about transgender people being insanity and pledge to revoke every Biden policy promoting the disfigurement of our youth. Okay, I understand, you know, the youth, the youth are the youth, you know, give them time to grow. But there are some youth that actually know who they are before that time. And, you know, that's very harmful to the um, trans youth of America, you know. So I understand your concern. But as far for me, you're not going to be sitting up in here removing no rights that made me the person that I am today, that helped me to become the person that I am today, that helped me to become free. You talk about some, this is the land of the free and the home of the braves, honey. Well, it needs to be free for all. And you're not going to continue to demonize my people. Mr. Trump, if you want my vote, no. Mr. Trump, I honestly just find it very insulting um, as an American citizen that supported you. You know, because I said supported because, like, I didn't know you were this, I can't even put the words together. I just didn't know that you were this way. Like I thought you were for all Americans, but apparently you're not. I guess it's your target, uh, you know, we're already a target uh, amongst the rest of the world. I guess this is your target, your ticket point on the ignorant bandwagon to just shoo, right into the office, you know, because you want to play on people's ignorance. I get that to a degree. You want to play on people's ignorance. I like that. I like that a lot. But um, no, no Donald Trump. I wanted to vote for you, and I and I kind of don't even want to vote for Biden. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I need new. I need change. I don't know what to do, y'all. I don't know what to do. Because Donald Trump, if you get into this office, that means that my life is either over or endangered, if not both. And so um, I'm signing out. Vote for Natasha Tory for president and the upcoming elections for futures to come. I might be running for governor in a place near you or maybe the mayor. Who knows? But no. No.